Hello, my name is the old mechanic and I'm still busy on my beloved Honda CB500X and what a beauty this is, really, I love it, I love the style, I love the color, but now I'm going to show you the best way, absolute, believe me, to change your oil and oil filter. The bike is already warmed up, come on over and we start. So, what do we need? Is a wrench of 12, over there is the drain plug, and we first gonna give it knack, a good smack. Okay, now <coughs> this one. There he goes. Come on. <laughs> so. oh. Yes, so yeah. <laughs> Now, while it's dripping, we're going to the oil filter. Now guys, over here is the oil filter. And we're gonna tilt the bike on its uh, side stand. Otherwise the oil will straight drip on the exhaust. So, we're gonna do that first. Here, the tool for it. Carefully, the exhaust. No, it already cooled down. Up. Okay. Yes. We have to take this one off. Otherwise, we don't have too much room. Up. <laughs> so guys, as you know by now, I always let the bike drain for overnight. So, see you tomorrow. So guys, yet another day in my shed. The bike is still dripping out oil. What I always do is I show you, but that's for me easy because I have a winch. Up. So. As you can see, and over there too, again oil starts to drip out. And that's because an engine has all kinds of pockets, as they call it. And in those pockets, old oil is trapped. And by leaning the bike over, you are able to 
drain the engine as much as possible. Let's see. We're gonna so this as you probably can see I'm not sure but the bike starts to leak out again then we hold it just like this straight up Again. Let it lean a bit to this side. Okay, hop. Whenever I do an oil change, I want to get as much as possible of old oil out. Bury it! <laughs> now, even kijken. There it comes. Then let it lean back over to that side. Hop. And the oil starts to drip again. It's not much, but Eventually, it could be a lot. Okay. Now, let's move on. Okay. Yes. So first, we're gonna clean everything put this a bit out of the way but first we take this one up 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 That's everything is covered with oil yes then we take Yes, nicely clean, that's good, then I'll take the oil filter, and now, yes, mm. so, hop, that off, guys, always use motor oil, that's castrol, to lubricate the o-ring. Then now it's super easy. Yes. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna use my torque wrench, and the oil filter needs to be torqued with 26 newton meters. So let's do that. Yes. 26. Kijk, ik heb mijn tool al ready. Even kijken. 26. Mm -hmm. Nice. Dat is exact over hier. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. I need an extension to get by the exhaust. We need an extension. Like this. And now it's easy. Oh. Yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna 
give you a tip from the old mechanic now you can't get this thing off so you put it in reverse and then wiggle it a bit yeah see hop there you get it off <laughs> easy as dull oh here <laughs> Okay, now the drain plug is over here, so first with a, a bit of a dirty rag, give it a first clean. We take a bit of paper and give this over here a nice clean. Yes. Opa. Okay. Socket of 12. And the drain plug needs to be torqued with 30 newton meters. Got my torque wrench. Hop. Then <laughs> oh, I have to lean the bike over to that side. Yes. Okay. We got my yellow crayon torqued and this one torqued well done now we're gonna fill it up with oil first slide it all the way back a little bit till you feel the drag that's the point now guys we're on the other side of the bike over there we're gonna fill the oil first I'm gonna give this a clean. Okay, then I'll put this one out. Give this one a nice clean too. Okay, clean this one too. Okay. Perhaps wait a minute. Over here is the oil glass with two levels high, maximum, minimum. So I got my funnel. I always put it away like this. Now I'm gonna give this one, of course, a clean too. Take a bit of paper, put it in, and then. <laughs> so, <laughs> kijk, hop, nou, stays a bit on top, then, guys, over here, I got my old, good old canister, it's filled with uh, Kestrel, 10W40 Power RS half synthetic best oil there is I think and we're gonna fill it oh wait a minute I'm gonna put it's a tiny bit from the downside but you see I'm going to pour more oil in.
according to my good friend Shoichiro Honda and our relationship goes way back <laughs> it needs to be 2.7 liters of oil but the way I uh, drain the oil I'm absolutely sure that more oil goes in but we see gonna pour in a bit more because the engine is totally empty all the pockets and the oil filter needs to be filled too so pour in just a bit more okay I'm gonna open up the doors start up the engine let it idle for a moment and then see where the level is pour a bit more into it and then let it run until it's on operating temperature that's a good plan don't forget uh, screw this one on okay the bike idle to operating temperature okay Stop.
So guys, there was my video about doing an oil change on this beautiful Honda CB500X. Was it difficult? No way. Can you do it? I'm absolutely sure. With my video, you could do it yourself. Just a few tools, an oil filter, oil, and it's easy as Dell. And save a lot of money. Okay, for now, old mechanic. Hey.